couple just made a mistake. Not a small slip, not a vague rumor sparked by a blurry photo, but a genuine internal misstep that has potentially exposed the future of one of its most beloved products. Normally, leaks come from supply chain whispers, factory floor snapshots, or anonymous social media accounts chasing attention. This time, however, the leak came straight from Apple itself, quietly buried deep inside its own software. Hidden within Apple's macOS kernel debug kit, developers and analysts have uncovered references that appear to outline the roadmap for the next iPad mini. And what those references suggest is far more dramatic than anyone expected. This is not a routine refresh, not a modest performance bump, and not a product Apple is treating as an afterthought. Instead, it looks like the iPad mini is being positioned for one of the biggest upgrades in its entire history, one that could fundamentally change how people view Apple's smallest tablet. At the center of this revelation is the processor. The leaked code doesn't point to an A17 chip, nor does it suggest an A19, which many assumed would be the logical next step. Instead, it directly references the A20 chipset. That detail alone is shocking. The A20 is widely expected to debut in the iPhone 18 Pro, a device that hasn't even entered the public rumor cycle in any meaningful way yet. This is future silicon, hardware that doesn't officially exist outside Apple's labs. If this information is accurate, it immediately rewrites the assumed release timeline for the next iPad mini. Apple has a very strict hierarchy when it comes to its chips. iPhones always come first. There is no scenario, no historical precedent, and no strategic logic that would allow an iPad to debut a new A-series processor before the flagship iPhone. That single fact anchors everything else. Because of that, one conclusion becomes unavoidable. If the iPad Mini 8 truly uses the A20 chip, it cannot launch before the iPhone 18 lineup, and that places its release squarely in September 2026. Suddenly, all the vague guesses about late next year, or maybe an early refresh, fall apart. The timeline becomes precise. The iPad Mini 8 is not coming in 2025. It's not a quiet spring update. It's a major product time to land alongside Apple's most important annual launch. At first glance, that sounds like a painfully long wait. Late 2026 feels far away, especially for fans who love the Mini's form factor. But once you look at the rest of the leaks, the delay starts to make perfect sense. Apple doesn't hold back products like this unless there's a reason. The company doesn't delay a tablet just to give it a slightly faster chip or a new color. Apple waits when it's planning something transformative, and everything about the iPad Mini 8 points toward a complete overhaul. The most significant upgrade, and arguably the most overdue one, is the display. For years, iPad Mini users have been asking for OLED. The current LCD panel has always been the Mini's weakest point, especially as Apple's other devices moved forward. If you've ever used a modern iPhone with OLED and then switched back to an iPad mini in a dark room, the difference is impossible to ignore. Blacks look gray. Contrast feels muted. The screen lacks the depth and richness that OLED provides. According to multiple sources, including supply chain reports from Korea and credible journalists like Mark Gurman at Bloomberg, Apple is finally ready to ditch LCD for the iPad mini. This is not a minor upgrade. OLED changes the entire experience of a device like this. Each pixel lights itself independently, delivering perfect blacks, infinite contrast, and vibrant colors that feel alive. For a tablet designed to be held in one hand, used to read comics, browse photos, watch movies on a plane, or scroll through the web at night, OLED is transformative. It turns the iPad mini from a functional tool into a genuinely premium media device. There has been some debate around refresh rate, with more pessimistic voices suggesting Apple might pair OLED with a basic 60HZ panel. That argument falls apart when you consider the timeline. By 2026, even base model iPhones are expected to feature 120HZ ProMotion displays. Launching a high-end, OLED-equipped iPad mini with a sluggish 60HZ refresh rate would be a public relations disaster. The internet would tear Apple apart, and Apple knows this. If the company is willing to give the Mini an A20 chip and OLED, high refresh rate almost certainly comes with it. It would be unthinkable otherwise.
the display is also expected to grow slightly, from the current 8.3 inches to around 8.7 inches. Importantly, this doesn't mean the device itself will become bulky. Instead, thinner bezels will allow Apple to increase screen real estate while keeping the overall footprint nearly identical. More screen, same pocketable size. This is exactly the kind of refinement Apple excels at, and it aligns perfectly with the Mini's core appeal. Yet, as impressive as the display upgrades sound, they aren't even the strangest part of these leaks. That honor belongs to the rumored audio system. According to Bloomberg, Apple is experimenting with a completely new speaker design for the iPad Mini 8, one that removes speaker grills entirely. Imagine picking up an iPad and seeing no speaker holes at all, just smooth aluminum and glass. The concept sounds futuristic, almost unrealistic, but it's not without precedent. Sony has used similar technology in its high-end televisions, where actuators vibrate the screen itself to produce sound. If Apple successfully brings this technology to a tablet, it solves multiple problems at once. First, it dramatically cleans up the design. No holes, no grills, nothing to break the visual flow of the device. Second, and more importantly, it significantly improves durability. The iPad mini is a device meant to be thrown into backpacks, taken on trips, used outdoors, and carried everywhere. Speaker holes are one of the primary entry points for water and dust. Removing them makes it far easier to seal the device. This lines up perfectly with another rumor suggesting that the iPad Mini 8 will have much stronger water resistance than any previous model. Microphone holes will still exist, because they have to, but sealing the rest of the chassis would make the Mini far tougher and more resilient. If this experiment works on the Mini, it's easy to imagine Apple eventually bringing the same technology to the iPhone. Internally, the upgrades don't stop at the chip. To support Apple's growing focus on on-device artificial intelligence, the leaked code suggests the iPad Mini 8 will jump to 12 GB of RAM. In Apple's ecosystem, that is a huge number, especially for a tablet that isn't branded as Pro. This move signals a clear intent. Apple wants the iPad Mini to be future-proof. With AI features becoming more demanding, and increasingly processed directly on the device, rather than in the cloud, memory matters more than ever. An A20 chip paired with 12 GB of RAM would make the iPad Mini 8 absurdly powerful for its size. Photo editing, console quality gaming, multitasking, and future AI-driven features would all run smoothly for years. This is the kind of hardware that ages gracefully, not something that feels outdated after two software updates. Connectivity is also expected to get a modern refresh. Wi-Fi 7 support would bring faster speeds and lower latency for users with compatible routers. Bluetooth 6 and Thread support would further integrate the Mini into Apple's smart home ecosystem. However, Apple's product hierarchy still applies. Don't expect Thunderbolt. That level of data transfer speed will almost certainly remain exclusive to the iPad Pro. The Mini will stick with USB-C at standard speeds, which is more than enough for its target audience. In terms of design, Apple isn't likely to reinvent the wheel. The flat-hedged aesthetic introduced with the current generation is expected to remain, as is the Touch ID power button. Face ID would be a welcome surprise, but it's far from guaranteed. One subtle but meaningful improvement many are hopping for is a repositioned front-facing camera. On larger iPads, Apple has already moved the camera to the landscape edge, which makes video calls far more natural. While the Mini is often used in portrait orientation, a landscape camera would still be a welcome quality-of-life improvement, especially for desk use. All of this brings us to the most important question. Should you buy the current iPad Mini, or should you wait? If you can wait, the answer is clear. You should wait. This isn't a minor refresh. This is shaping up to be the most significant upgrade the iPad mini has ever received. The A20 chip, OLED display, high refresh rate, improved durability, experimental audio technology, and massive memory upgrade collectively point to a device that redefines what a small tablet can be. That said, there's no escaping one downside. Price. OLED panels are expensive. Cutting-edge silicon isn't cheap. Advanced materials and new internal systems all add up. It's very likely that the starting price of the iPad Mini 8 will climb, potentially to $599 or even higher. But when you consider what the device replaces for many people, 
a Kindle, a notebook, a portable gaming console, a media player, the value proposition becomes easier to justify. The iPad Mini 8 is shaping up to be a premium, pocketable powerhouse, finally shedding its most outdated compromises and stepping fully into the future. And if all of this truly came from Apple's own code, then this wasn't just a leak. It was Apple accidentally telling us exactly how serious they are about the iPad Mini's future.